Hey everyone, this is Nemo, and in today's video, we will have a first look at the pre pre beta of PrestaShop 1.6. Now, as you might know, and you might have read this in the blog, I'm not exactly enthusiastic about this new version, mainly because it has no upgrade path from 1.6, but also for another uh, couple of good reasons. Now, uh, you can read my previous article uh, for this. So now let's see how it looks like. I'm here in the front office and as you can see, this is uh, the theme I showed you already in the previous blog post. It's not bad, but in my opinion, it looks a bit cheap. So it's still an early stage and there is a lot of room for improvements. So I hope it will be given a more, uh, let's say a more professional look. The structure itself is not too dissimilar from 1.6, though the design, as you can see, has been taken to the bare bones. So we have the top navigation bar with user info, um, the card, then we have the logo, the menu. There should be a search box here, but it's not showing up for some reason. Then we have the slider, home featured products uh, with no tabs, apparently, at least for now. Then we have a banner, uh, kind of a CMS block, probably, I didn't test this out, and then the footer, which is basically the same as 1.6. Then let's move to a category page, so women, and this is a bit broken. So we have the layer navigation, a pretty standard layout, and sadly, at least for now, the layer navigation uh, is still displaying attribute choices for attributes having no quantities. Like I have a badge one here, which is um, out of stock, even if there is one product shown. This has zero quantity for badge. Then onto the product page, let me just choose another, this one. Again, reworked as we saw in the article, two columns instead of three. And well, I don't really like having the long description and all tabs squeezed on the right here. So I think it would be better, uh, it would better fit the center of the page. Now, if I add this to cart and then proceed to the checkout, I think this is still, uh, still being worked on. Here, there is no OPC anymore. I tried looking for the option in the back office and I couldn't find it. So I just take it as there is no OPC for now. So I can check out, you can see it's uh, really essential. It's not five steps anymore, but four instead, at least in this development branch. I don't know what they're planning, but I really hope for a good OPC in 1.7. So uh, I can just continue, choose my delivery method. Again, a lot, a lot of room for improvements. And a good thing about it is that the payment details, as you can see, show up directly in the checkout without having to go to another page. So I can order. Okay, confirmation. All right, now onto the back office. I will show you the product page and the modules list only since these are the new ones made with um, Symphony and Twig. So let's start with the letter. It's kind of slow now, but I hope this will be addressed uh, since I'm on localhost and the resource consumption is huge. I just enable dev mode and when it's on, uh, we have this bar, you should be able to see at the bottom, displaying various things like uh, peak memory usage, which is 54 megabytes, it's pretty, uh, pretty high. Uh, two seconds of rendering time, which is again high for a local host. So pretty big for now. Um, what I really hate about the new modules page, for now at least, is that it's too heavily marketing focused. As soon as I clicked here, I can do it again just to show you. I am brought to a selection of new modules. It says, uh, 175 modules and services selected for you. So as shop owner, I would rather access the installed modules list when I click instead of having to tab to it. So I have to click installed modules to get to it. And this is pretty annoying from my point of view. Now the search here looks pretty decently. So I can use 
uh, it pretty easily. No, I think it's categories to uh, categories block. And it's uh, the rest is basically the same as Presto Shop 1.6. So uh, nothing special to say about that. I just hope they will make something for this uh, default page. I, we really, we really need it as merchants um, to see the first page as the installed modules page, not the new models one. Now let's move to the product back office. So catalog products. It's still a bit broken and actually at least for the list, very similar to what we had in 1.6. So if I click on a product or edit, You can see this is the new product configuration page, which has been reworked from scratch. So uh, we will necessarily have to get used to this new structure. At the top, we can add the product name, then choose the product type. And then down here, we have some basic settings. Images, where we can just click to add a new one, then short, uh, description called summary now and long description then we have features the brand and on the right we have the product type product type uh, which can be selected between simple and combinated product uh, as well as the price now I shrink down the screen so this got squeezed but if I increase it it should get back to normal uh, well it's going out of screen but it's reading 16.51 dollars so uh, this should be adjusted really. Then we have combinations with a new uh, sort of generator, which looks useful. We can uh, simply write here. So like size, select a size, then a color, given the combination, uh, sorry, the uh, attributes we have, and then hit create. And it's going to be added somewhere. Um, it should at least this one, the last one. And then we can hit the pencil to change anything about it, go back. And quantities are set directly here now. So it's easy to just uh, change them and then hit save at the bottom. Now it's a bit slow, but it's all happening as you can see uh, using Ajax. Scrolling down, we have availability preferences. And I would rather place this in another section since it doesn't make much sense to use this, uh, to have this in the combinations tab. Then shipping. I guess uh, the carrier list will need a better layout for shop with more than a few. Pricing. We have a uh, detail of the prices. And if I update the price here, uh, the change is going to be reflected here as well in the basic settings. For the rest, it's just identical to 1.6. Uh, we have specific prices. Then the SEO tab is still the same. While options just contains the rest of the things uh, all stacked together. And it's a bit confusing. So hopefully this will be rearranged as well. All right. So to sum it up, I am still skeptic about 1.7. And I know this is a pre-beta version, it's not official yet, so much still needs to be done. And I really, really hope that they will not rush to the release since there is a whole lot of room for improvements. The new theme looks a bit flat and cheap and it's lacking the one-page checkout, as I mentioned. I kind of like the new product's back office, given some things will be better arranged. But in general, I feel that both this page, uh, as you can see here, and the modules list page are suffering from an excessively marketing focused mindset. So I will keep updating the blog as more news come out. So keep checking it out at nemops.com. Subscribe the newsletter if you like and follow the channel on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.